So my experience with Furious Flower um, has been 18 wonderful years. Um, that's just as long as I've been here at James Madison University. I first met Joanne Gavin uh, when I was a first year assistant professor here. And uh, she came to a, a mentor conference or a mentor workshop. And, uh, and I met her and I have to say, she's been one of my mentors here since uh, year one. And I think many people know that Joanne being, you know, the founder and past artistic director of the Furious Flower, she's not only mentored students, but she has mentored so many faculty members here at JMU and of course beyond. Um, other than that experience, uh, most recently, um, the Furious Flower um, and the collaboration with the Furious Flower and the College of Education and my role in the College of Education as the English professor is that um, together we've presented at the National Council of Teachers of English uh, several times. We presented um, Furious Flower work at the Virginia Association of Teachers of English. Um, I have publications that connect to the Furious Flower work. Um, I was part of the X Labs group, which is an innovative course where we, we meaning five faculty members and 33 students, um, place the 1994 conference online. We digitized it. And so my role was really as the curricular specialist. And so I worked with the high school students or sorry, I worked with JMU students on augmenting the 1994 conference by adding lesson plans to the website. Um, I've also worked uh, with um, the Gillespie scholars and helping them to review lesson plans and things like that. And so, as you can see, I've had a really long relationship with the Furious Flower and uh, look forward to continuing to uh, work with them for years to come. So what we are building this week with Furious Flower is a Furious Flower syllabus, which is so exciting. And um, the role that I'm playing with the group that I am is that we are uh, building lesson plans, in particular lesson plans for middle school students and lesson plans for high school students using the Furious Flower poets. What I am so excited about is that um, in working with future middle and high school English teachers, a question that they always ask is, um, they want to teach black poetry, they want to bring black poetry in the schools, and at the same time, they want to feel comfortable, um, and they want to be able to do it right, is what they say to me. And so I really feel like my collaborations with the Furious Flower and working here today with the Flur Furious Flower syllabus, uh, in which excites me so much is that I feel like from my collaborations and my work with the Furious Flower that if I could feel more comfortable teaching black poetry from having experiences with black poets and having experiences with the Furious Flower Poetry Center, that if I'm more comfortable, then that's gonna really pass over and I could pass that on to the future middle and high school English teachers um, in helping them to feel more comfortable in teaching black poetry because it is so important black, that black poetry is in the middle and high schools. I also, for many, many years, um, one assignment that I give is that um, students use the Furious Flower of Poets and they write lesson plans around the poets. That's another way that I could have a very practical assignment in the methods course so that they could um, practice writing those lesson plans, collaborating with other uh, teachers on writing those lesson plans and bringing them into the schools. This, this project is, it's my heart, it's my passion, it's my spirit, it's my soul. There's nothing that excites me more um, than working with the Furious Flower. Um, I have a real love uh, for black poetry. I think what is so special about um, Black poetry is that I think the poet, the black poet, is an observer of black experience. Black poets are observers of black life and they're, they document black life. They're documenting the black experience, right? 
And so, and they're placing it in poetic form um, and using poetic devices and um, they capture it in a way that uh, it could be brought into the middle and high school classroom and students can experience it. Um, and they can experience it both as a poetic form and as a way of experiencing and getting to know um, the American experience, right? And the, the black poet that brings us the black experience is the fabric of the American experience and that we want our students to have um, experiences um, with all poets, all cultures, all communities, and all voices. What I think is so fabulous about what I was saying before about why poetry matters um, in the middle and high school classroom, why poetry matters in my high school English methods course, and is, uh, in specific, the Furious Flower Poetry Center, um, is that first of all, it's here, it's at JMU. Why would I not use 30 plus years um, of this treasure trove, this archive um, that the JMU Library Center um, has, has captured as a resource for future high school uh, teachers and middle school teachers? Um, why wouldn't I use that? Another thing that I think is so important is that what's unique about poets and black poets in particular is that you can capture an experience in one page, which I think is so amazing. And yes, we read short stories, and yes, we reread novels, and yes, we read poems, and we read black poems. And so capturing themes, again, by using poetic technique, poetic structure, the craft, the moves, everything that the black poet is making um, is really helping our students uh, capture an experience within a minute, two minutes, three minutes. Who can do that? The poet can do that, and the black poet can do that for the black experience. So I, th I think that's amazing.